Hi, I'm gonna talk about books, what I'm currently reading, and I'll just show you a little book shelf tour. I got back to reading in 2021. Borrow a lot of books from the library. I finished this book, could fix your life. I, I did learn some stuff like if you get lost in the forest, it's best if you stay put for a while to avoid getting even more lost in this forest. Yeah. Then we have Uncle Dysfunctional. So it's very fast paced. Also, you have a question here and then he answers. And some I have this little reading journal where I just put my notes. This one, I wrote quite a bit. So yeah, I wish they added the age range for the people who sent in the letters. This guy at some page said, my ass is itchy. And I just wanted to know, are you a 20 year old sending this or a 50 year old? Um, someone said, I'm short. Well, if that bothers you, then I'm so sorry. But me reading this, I'm just like, j'en ai rien à foutre. But yeah, so that's, that's that. I'm currently reading Le Chateau de Ma Mère by Marcel Pagnol. I'm right at the beginning, but he's talking about his childhood and his friend Lily, which now that I'm thinking, Lily is a boy and not a girl. Yeah, I really like this. This is, this is a cute story. The next few books I want to read are Le Vin de Solitude by Irene Nemirovsky, Truth About Lies. This is a psychology book about lies. L'Amant by Marguerite Dura. So apparently this was the first one and then she rewrote it and published L'Amant de la Chine du Nord. Really, I really liked the second one so I'm just reading this one. The first couple of books that I bought were these ones. How to Adult and How to Give Zero Fucks. I was 18 at that time, 18 turning 19 and I felt like these two books were perfect for me and they're very simple it's not revolution revolutionary revolutionary i don't know if that that would i don't know what i said no it's just it's just a book it's not a novel it's a book why men love bitches i remember reading this at the beach I, it was not a serious read for me it was more just for shits and giggles how to win friends and influence people bad it wasn't bad it wasn't good I just I remember it was nice. It was a nice book. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. How do you say it? Napoleon? Napoleon. People always tell me that they didn't know that English was not my first language until I say a name or a brand because every time I say a name, I just think I, I say how would you say it in French? So I say Napoleon, but I, I don't know how to say this in in English. Napoleon. But I think I just got I just I yeah. It's, it's, I don't know, it's just, it's hard. Um, same thing with brands. I say Adidas. I don't know how you say it. I think in English you say Adidas. Adidas? Adidas. Adidas? I don't know, but Napoleon. Now, let's go in 2022. The Library by Bella Osborne and The Midnight Library by Matt H. I'll just say H because I don't know how to pronounce. These were good books. So we have Clara and the Sun. It's a really good book. So yeah, you should read this. I have Before the Coffee Gets Cold, which, wow. Five out of five stars. How to Kill Your Family. It's fun. And you will get some stares if you read this in public. The Unexpected Joy of Being Single, which, I didn't hate it, but I was like, okay. My Body by Emily Ratakowski. This book is so well written. It's amazing. I have a couple books in French. It's Suite Française, Irene Nemirovsky, so it's my third this one. It's a very good book. I really enjoyed this. These books, all, all of those little books here in French, I found them at this Amnesty library and they were all two, three pounds. So I was really excited to have books in French because it's difficult to find books in French here in the UK. These four books, left me disappointed. I feel like I need to reread them in order to see if I actually didn't like them or I was just not paying attention. Une femme à sa fenêtre by Dru de la Rochelle. I could not tell you what this is about. Journal d'un homme trompé, also by Dru de la Rochelle. Um, could not tell you what this is about. Les boulevards de ceinture by Modiano. Could not tell you what this is about. Le feu follet suivi de Adieu à Gonzague, also by Dru de la Rochelle. 
Could not tell you what this is about. Ombre des âmes by Arthur Schnitzler. Did did not finish because I don't know. I was not paying attention and it was just woo. Have Runway Bird by Irina Lazarenu. I'm so sorry if I butcher her name, but I actually met her once. So nice, so down to earth. It's about her uh, her experience in the modeling industry. And look, this is so cool. This oh, wow. I, I really like this book. This one. Everyone talked about this book. And they're damn right because this book is iconic. I'm glad my mom died by Jenna McCurdy. Also, this book will give you some stares if you read this in public. Making a scene by Constance Wu. I really enjoyed this book. It's such a good book. It's in French. It's Sorcière la puissance à main des femmes by Mona Cholet. She she's not wrong. In, in the society can't win. So that that was a good book. Well, I'm going to show you the books that I recently purchased. Some of them I read them once. And I just wanted to have my own copy and others are first like I've never read them and I just want to read them Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow by Gabrielle Zivin Probably butchered her last name. I'm so sorry. I heard nothing but good things about this book The only thing that scares me is that this book is Thick is going to be a challenge. I'm scared, but I can I can I can do it. I have convenience store women Woman, sorry, by Sayaka Murata. This compared to this, yeah, I'm I'm choosing this. It's about this girl. Well, well, she's not really a girl anymore. She's 36 year old, and she's never had a boyfriend. She's working in the same convenience store for 18 years, and her family, her friends are like, "Girl, what the fuck are you doing? Get out, do something." But she just wants to stay here. I'm, I'm excited to read this. This book. <gasps> Normal People by Sally Rooney. God, this was a five out of five star for me. Marianne and Connell. Ah! They're so cute. They are so cute. Now we have Cleopatra. Cleopatra. That was such. <laughs> Cleopatra. Cleopatra. Let's just call her Cleopatra. And Frankenstein. I heard nothing but good things with this book. This book is. But yeah, I can't wait to read this book. Yes, I would love Chris to write another book just to see her evolution. Chris Jenner and all things Kardashian. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. We have L'Invité by Simone de Beauvoir. I read this book once and I just wanted to have my own copy. There's this whole discourse of who's an it girl, who's not. But you know what? Simone de Beauvoir is an it girl. Simone de Beauvoir avec Jean-Paul Sartre. So they were a couple. I feel like it was the, a couple of their generation. This book is about a couple. They're in this open relationship, which I think it's also about Simone and Jean-Paul. And they try to bring this third person into the relationship. Whenever you bring a third person into a relationship, it gets messy. And this is just about that. And I like it, I really do. Look, wait, hold on. This book is over 400 pages and I'm scared of those two skinny books then? I managed to read this once and I want to read it again so I can do these two. Okay, this is accountability. <laughs> these three books, they are, so I have two books in Spanish and one book in Italian. I'm doing Spanish in uni right now and I did Italian for five years in secondary school. I just want to challenge myself. I have a Agatha Christie book, which is translated in Italian. C'è un cadavre in biblioteca. And the two books in Spanish, there's Reno de este mundo by Alejo Carpentier. I'm so sorry if I butchered the Spanish and the Italian. And the second one is Viejas Historias de Castilla de la Vieja. Ooh, that, that sounded right. Okay. And this is by Miguel de Nibes. These books are in French. I recently purchased them off of Amazon. Here's the thing, I do not care about book editions, if it's a special, if it's not special. But one thing I will not accept is books like these, these editions. This gives me PTSD from secondary school. Avez-vous bien lu? Non. Genre foutez-moi la... I, this I don't want, that. I'm returning these books. I do not want this. Nouvelle vie TM by Pierre Bordage. I read this in secondary school. It's of technology and blah 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 blah, which is very... I remember this and I enjoyed it. I'm going to put the books in the description with 
the English translation. La Versa by Emmanuel Carrère. I read this in 11 or 12th grade. It's a it's a true story. Already, the first page, you know what happens, okay? It's not spoilers or anything. And it's Jean-Claude Roman. says to kill his family. Once you go into his backstory, you're just telling... Qu'est-ce qui s'est passé? This man seems like a great guy. The thing is, <coughs> he never graduated from medicine school. He was with his group of friends that were also in medicine school. No one suspected that he didn't graduate from medicine school. He was living in France near the border of Switzerland. He told his family and friends, oh, I actually got a job at the UN in, Sw in Switzerland, Geneva. He would go, take his car, uh, go across the border, and just do nothing in Switzerland. Like he would, I don't know, he would go to the cafe or something, but he would do nothing. How he would make his money is that he would tell his friends and family, oh guys, um, so I can open a bank account for you guys in Switzerland and you can make money because you know the laws in Switzerland, blah, 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 blah. And his friends and family would just give him big sums of money just to him and he would open those accounts. And why it just unfolded. One of his friends said, oh, I actually need my money back for something and he could not give it back. Ah! And then from there, it just started to unravel. Uh, crazy. Une fenêtre au hasard by Pia Pertesen. Just really enjoying this book. I had, I just wanted my own copy. La disparition de Paris et sa renaissance en Afrique by Martin Page. That also was a really good book. To be honest, I don't remember much about this book. I'm reading this and I was like, wait. You know, sometimes when you don't remember exactly what happened, but you just remember how you felt, that's with this book. So I really want to read this again. But I, I remember reading this. I was like, oh my God, this is such a good book. This last book is Vers la Beauté by David Fokinos. I've never read this book, but it's about this uh, teacher at an art school. One random day, he decides to quit his job and become a security security agent at the Musée d'Orsay in Paris and no one knows why he's doing that and I think it's just about like around this storyline which sounds really cool so yeah this is my bookshelf tour I hope you discovered some new books and I'll see you guys next time bye